you watch this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and push the subscribe button. We've got something really special planned for you today. We're gonna count down our top three most viewed videos. And between these videos, they have earned over 150 million views. Coming in at number three is Addie and Maya are back at Toy School with just under 50 million views. Yeah, Toy School videos were one of our favorite videos to film. Right, Maya? Yeah, because Miss Lucy always gave us candy during class. And for classwork, we just unboxed toys. <laughs> we hope you guys enjoy this video at number three. Maya, we've had a pretty long break from toy school, and it feels great to be back. Sure does, but I hope it hasn't changed, Daddy. Oh, I doubt it. I'm sure it will be a fun-filled day as always. I sure hope so. Okay, welcome back to Toy School Girls. As you can see, we have a very busy schedule and lots of material to cover today. Um, Maya, do you see that schedule? I sure do. Mathematics. Reading. Geography. Science. This is a song with the Toy School we know, Maya. Sure doesn't. I knew I should have been sick this morning. Okay, so it looks like we're going to start our morning with some mathematics. Ugh. Excuse me, Miss Lucy, what type of math are we doing? We're going to start the day with some good old addition. What? Schnook's addition, that is. Huh? Oh, don't worry, we will start nice and simple. Two schnooks plus two schnooks equals how many schnooks? Four schnooks. Absolutely, Addie. Nice work. And here are your four schnooks. <gasps> Beanie, Lulu, Bubbles, and Berry. Whoa, this one's jelly bean scented. Wow, I like Schnooks addition. And if we have four Schnooks, which we do, and add four more Schnooks, how many do we have now? Eight Schnooks. That's correct. And here are your next four to make a total of eight Schnooks. Keep going, keep going. Okay then, if we have eight schnooks, which we do, and we add eight more schnooks, how many do we have now? Sixteen. That's correct. Here's a total of sixteen schnooks. And that concludes our mathematics lesson for today. And Miss Lucy, what do we do with all these schnooks now? Oh, well, you'll need to take them home and style their hair for homework. I love math at toy school. Me too, Addie. All right, class, and now that we've completed mathematics, it's time to move on to science. Oh, uh, great. What do we do in science class? Learn about the states of matter? Or memorize parts of a cell? I'm sure whatever it is, it's gonna be super boring. All right, girls, clear off those desks because it's time to pick your science experiments. Are those Project MC Square? Why, of course they are. What kind of science do you think we're gonna do in toy school? And let me show you your choices. Make your own bathes. Make lava lip gloss. Ooh, that one looks fun. Edible eyeshadow. Lava lamp experiment. Whoa. Or make your own gummy jewelry. I'm gonna make some lava lip gloss. In my experiment, it's gonna be the lava lamp. All right, students, so get busy experimenting and I'll check in on you in just a few minutes. All right, let me arrange these projects. Oh, and I think it's just about time. Did you get your science projects completed? We sure did. did. Wow, your lava lamp turned out fabulously. A plus for you, Addie. Sweet. And Maya, show me how your Gatorade flavored light up lip gloss works. Just like this. A plus for you too, Maya. Yay. And since you both got an A plus, you'll each get an LOL surprise confetti pop. Wow. And yours, Addie? Super exciting. And now that science is complete, it looks like it's time for geography. Ugh, what a bore this is going to be, Addy. For sure, I bet we have to memorize state capitals or something. Yeah, it's gonna be a snoozed fest. All right, so here's my two maps right here. Oh boy, here we go. So in regular school, you might study boring maps like this, but not in toy school. I like where this is going. Today we're going to be traveling around the world in the gifted private jet. Addie will be exploring Frankfurt and Kathmandu with these Gifton's pet friends. Whoa, so fun. 
Brisbane. And Maya will be exploring Brisbane and Chengdu with her Gifton's pet friends. Wow! And I'll be visiting the lion. So what exactly do we do with these? Well, we unbox them, play with them, and there's our geography lesson. Nice! All right, Gifton's jet coming in for a private landing. First stop, Chengdu, China. Nice, safe landing. Here's Ling Ling, and here's her pet. Adorable panda bear. Super cute, let's put it in the jet too. Look, I got Cat from Catmandu. And she's got a tiger. All right, girls, I'll give you a few more minutes to work on your geography lesson. Play a little bit while I grade some papers. Let's change their outfits and mix them up, Maya. Great idea. Attention students, it is way too quiet in here. At Toy School, I should hear lots of loud noises, giggles, laughter, and let me know you're concentrating better. All right, Miss Lucy. Ah! ah! Yay! Mm -hmm. Go, Jack, go! Don't run over my doll from Frankfurt. But it's a crash landing. All right, students, it looks like geography is over and it is time for PE or physical education. We've got to get out of this, Maya. I hate running laps. I always get cramps in my sides. Yeah, and push-ups and pull-ups are just no fun. I think I have just the idea, Maya. Excuse me, Miss Lucy, Maya and I are just recovering from a serious illness, so I'm afraid we won't be able to do PE today. Oh, well, what a bummer. I suppose you two could just sit on the sidelines and watch today, though. Thank you, it's because I just hate for us to have a relapse. Good work, Daddy. Yeah, now we can sit down and relax and watch Miss Lucy pull up a sweat. Ah, this is the life. All right, I'll mix my bubble solution. And here I go. Whoa! So fun! What? Oh man, I want to do that. Some idea you had, Addy. Whoa! Excuse me, Miss Lucy. Now that I think of it a little more, we actually weren't sick. Yeah, we could do PE today after all. Oh, really? Well, then come join in on the fun! Woo! Whoa! <laughs> Alright, let's do this one now. Super cool too. So what are we gonna be reading, Miss Lucy? Well, words of course. Oh. Well, you'll have to read directions in order to properly care for your new Cabbage Patch dolls. Whoa! You mean we get to play with those and keep them? Well, absolutely. All right, Maya, here's yours. And Addie, here's yours. Awesome. Well, I have a birth certificate. <laughs> and adoption papers. Her name is Morgan Valerie. Hi, Morgan, are you hungry? I'm gonna feed my baby girl some food. Look, her name is Paula Arden. She needs to be burped now. <laughs> Good job burping, Paula. <laughs> That's super funny. All right, well, you two are busy reading your birth certificates and instructions. I will try our homework on the board tonight. Oh, great. Now, I do apologize. It might be kind of a lot because we've been on break for a while and we have a ton of catching up to do. I knew this day was too good to be true, Addie. Yeah, I guess we don't get to go to the super cool carnival after school today. Probably not. We'll be buried in books. All right, homework list is completed. These are the toys you're going to need to take home and play with tonight. All right, you'll have three creatures. You'll each have a troll's toy. There's some Sum Sum, some Zoomers. We got a puppy and a hedgehog. Oh, don't forget the neonate babies. That's homework too. Slither aisles, one for you, one for you. And last but not least, Poppets. And that's the homework assignment for tonight. Whoa, I'll do homework anytime.
I miss Lucy? Me too. And I'm not going to complain about going to toy school ever again. That's for sure. And now it's time for our second most popular video, Toy Master's Escape Room Challenge. Ooh. We actually filmed part of that video in this room here. In that video, we were locked inside our bedroom. Yeah, and we had to solve a whole lot of clues to escape. That Toy Master was always up to all sorts of tricks. Now we hope you enjoy our second most popular video, which has just under 50 million views. Who could be calling so early on a Saturday morning? Oh, this better be good. This is the Toy Master. I'm a little bored, so we're going to play a game. What kind of game? An escape room game. I'm locking you both in your bedrooms. In order to get out, you'll have to each follow a unique set of clues that will lead you to an escape button. Press that button and your doors will unlock. How long will this take? We have a play date this afternoon. That depends on how quickly you solve the clues. Oh, and I'm gonna add something else to the mix to make this a bit more, well, fun for me. I'm afraid to ask, but what is it? For every five minutes that you'll be trapped inside your rooms, I will wipe out a popular toy from the shelves of every single toy store across the country. OMG, that's disastrous! It may be for you, and for the millions of children across the world, but I call this fun. I guess we have to work quickly then. Tell you what, I'm feeling extra nice today. If you get stuck on a clue, I'll give you one free phone call to Agent Lucy, your mother, for assistance. Use it wisely because you only get one. Okay, how do we get started? Addie, you'll find your first clue in your Our Generation Awesome Academy. Maya, your first clue can be found in your stuffed animal bin. The clock is starting now. Good luck. Okay, awesome academy. This is it, I gotta find the clue quickly. What is the clue? Maybe it's inside this pencil case. I don't see anything unusual in here. This all looks pretty normal. I don't see any clues. Let me check this file. Nothing. Let's see what's inside Lily's desk. Looks like some science supplies, a crayon, nothing unusual. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be looking for and time is ticking. Let's see what's inside this desk. Paper, notebook, post-it notes. Nothing in there. Wait a minute. I didn't write anything in this notebook. Well, it has a head and a tail, but no body. What kind of clue is this? Okay, here's my stuffed animal bin. Mr. Skittles, are you the clue? Ariel, no. Scruffluff, no. I don't think it's a tramp. Is it Ellie? Hopefully I don't have to cut open one of my precious stuffed animals to find a clue. Huh? What are watercolors and a paper doing in here? I don't remember putting these in here. Could these be the clues? But what would they mean? What has a head, a tail, but no body? What has a head, a tail, but no body? Maybe snake? They have a head and tail. But do they have a body? I know I don't have any real snakes in my room. Do I have any toy snakes? Okay, I have a toy unicorn, a toy bird, even a toy puppy. Do I have any snakes? Here's a kitty and here's two turtles. Puppy, unicorn, but no snakes. 
What could that clue mean if it's not a snake? What has a head and a tail but no body? <gasps> Is that an incoming message on my tablet? Five minutes have passed, and all Pick Me Pop surprise toys have been removed from the shelves of toy stores across the country. The timer has been reset. If you haven't escaped in five minutes, another popular toy will disappear. Oh no, this is devastating. I wonder if I should use my free phone call now, because I have no idea what this first clue means. Well, all I could think of to do is use this paint to paint the paper. Hopefully, that'll show me the clue. Is that what I'm saying under there? I better get this whole paper painted so I can get a better look. Whoa, there's definitely a message here. It's kind of hard to make out. Let me see if I can read it. Send my favorite princesses to the ball in the correct order. Princesses ball, what's this kind of clue? <sighs> Hello? Hi mom, I need your help. Me and Maya are both trapped in our rooms. And the toy master's making us play this horrible game in order to escape. I know, I know, he called me too. I'm locked inside my room until both of you escape from your rooms. Well, I need your help with a clue. What do you think this means? What has a head and a tail, but no body? A head and a tail, but no body. Huh, that's a tough one. I know, I thought it was a snake. But I don't have any snakes in my room that the clue could be leading me to. Hmm, hmm. I got it, Addy. It's a coin. Every coin has two sides, heads and tails. You're right, and coins don't have bodies. Thanks, Mom, I have tons of coins in my room. No problem, good luck with the rest of the clues and I'll see you when you find that escape button. Thanks, Mom, see you later. Let me get my piggy bank. Okay, I have tons of coins in here. Maybe if I dump them out, I'll find a clue. Okay, there's a lot of coins, anything unusual. Whoa, there are some coins in here that are all black. This has to mean something. Here's two more. Okay, I can tell these two coins are dimes, and this one's a nickel. It looks like they've been colored with a Sharpie or something. What could this mean? These coins are shiny, and these ones aren't. Hmm. Wait a minute, I know that a dime's worth 10 cents and a nickel's worth 5 cents. So two dimes plus one nickel equals 25 cents. I bet the number 25 is important, but what could it mean? Okay, these are the only princesses I have, and I bet the ball is the dance floor. So I don't know the order to send the princesses to the ball in. There's gotta be something here that tells me. I don't see anything in the castle. What about in the dolls? Oh, what's this? It says order. Perfect, this'll work. One, this princess must be home by midnight. Oh, that's Cinderella. Okay, you're going to the ball, Cinderella. Cinderella's first. Number two, this princess won't want to leave Pastel behind. That must be Rapunzel. Pastel's her lizard friend. Go on to the ball, Rapunzel. Two down. Three, this princess hopes to get her voice back soon. My favorite princess, Ariel. Go on down. On to the fourth princess. Four, this princess had to travel all the way from New Orleans. That's Tiana. This way, Tiana. Four down. Time for number five. This princess can decorate the castle with ice sculptures. Elsa, she's one of my second favorite. Here we go, Elsa. This way, Elsa. 
okay? I slided them all down to the ball. Now what? Hmm, is there another clue? Oh no, it's my tablet with another message. Has another five minutes already passed? Another five minutes have passed and all Hatchimals have been removed from the shelves of the toy stores across the country. The timer has been reset. If you haven't escaped in five minutes, another popular toy will disappear. Oh no, this is so, so bad. These flashcards add up to 25, but I don't see any type of clue on them. Maybe I'm not supposed to look for the number 25 after all. Maybe I have 25 of a certain toy. Could that be what I'm looking for? Let me go see. Here are my toy collections. If I have 25 of any one toy, it's gotta be these. Hmm, I have a lot of LOLs, but I don't think this is quite 25. Shopkins? No, this is way too many. I bet this is more like 100 Shopkins. Maybe I have 25 Pikmis. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. That's it, I have 25 pygmies. But is this what I'm looking for? What's the next clue supposed to be? I don't see anything. Maybe it's in the bin? <gasps> A note! Don't forget to read between the lines. What lines? What does this mean? I put all the princesses in order. But now I don't see a clue. I think it's time to use my phone call. Hello? Hi, Mommy. You won't believe what's going on. Oh, I already know, hon. I'm sorry. I've already helped Addie with a clue. Do you need help, too? Yeah, I had to line up my princesses in a certain order to get the next clue. And I did, but nothing's happening. Okay. Well, how did you know what order to line them up in? There were a bunch of clues about the princesses, and they told me the order to put them in. Well, if you line them up correctly, could a clue just have popped out somewhere? Like maybe a dresser drawer popped open, or a clue fell from the ceiling, or something like that? No, nothing has popped up in my room. I would have noticed something like that. Okay, well, tell me what order you put the princesses in. First was Cinderella, Rapunzel, Ariel, Tiana, and then Elsa. Okay, so let's see. What about the dress colors? Do they form a pattern or something? No, it doesn't look right to me. It's blue, purple, teal, green, teal. The order of the princesses has to mean something. Cinderella, Rapunzel, Ariel, Tiana, Elsa. Doesn't ring a bell. Wait a minute. I think I'm on to something. Good. What is it? When the princesses are in that particular order, you can take the first letter of each of their names, and it spells C-R-A-T-E, Crete. Does that mean anything to you? It sure does. Thanks, Mommy. Gotta go. Don't forget to read between the lines. What lines? <gasps> Let me get my black light. Here it is. There could be something to read between these lines, but I just can't see them. Maybe my black light will reveal something. <gasps> I'm something that gets inflated, but I am not a tire. And when I'm filled with helium, let go and I float higher. I knew there was a clue here. I'm something that gets inflated, but I'm not a tire. And when I'm filled with helium, let go and I float higher. Well, I can only think of one thing that I fill with helium to make it float. It must be a balloon. I know I have some of them somewhere in here. <gasps> there they are. It feels like something's inside of them. There it is, but I can't get it out. Maybe if I blow the balloons up and pop them, then I can see what's inside of them.
Is this my next clue? What is all this? A stale Mickey Mouse and Chantimal. This is like so odd. This looks definitely like a stale. But what does three ounces mean? I'm just so confused. Oh no, not another message. It's been another five minutes already? Another five minutes have passed, and all little live pets have been removed from the shelves of toy stores across the country. The timer has been reset. If you haven't escaped in five minutes, another popular toy will disappear. It's a tragedy. It got to move quicker. Another toy can't disappear. Okay, got a scale, a bunch of toys, and a number. What do I do with that? Maybe one of these toys weighs three ounces. Maybe that's our glue. Marshall, sure let's see you weigh 0.8 ounces. Let's try something bigger then. 5.4 ounces. That's too big. How about Mickey? 2.3 is too small. I don't think any of these toys weigh three ounces. Maybe I have to put a few toys together to make it weigh three ounces. Let me try these two. 2.5, nope. How about that change from this pony? 2.5 again. Hmm. Maybe I'll try all the Paw Patrol characters. Rubble, Marsher, and Sky. Sky, Rubble. Three ounces! I did it! These three Paw Patrol characters worked! But what does that mean now? Okay, time to start popping these. This must be the clue. Letter E. Better say that. Another E. A and C. C, I, R. And M. These letters have to spell something. Mike. No. Uh. What could this be? What could this be? Ice. Ice what? Cream. That's it. Ice cream. And I'm in the ice cream cart in my room. Okay, clue, clue. It's got to be over here. Popsicles, I don't think this means anything. Let me check this side. Ice cream sandwiches, nothing unusual about these though. Wait a minute. <gasps> What's this? I found it, this is the escape button. I need to get out of here fast. I made it, I made it. Okay, Rubble, Marshall, and Sky. Do you know what this clue means? Maya, I just escaped. How are you doing in there? I'm stuck in here, Addy, and I want to get out of this before another five minutes passes. What's your clue? Maybe I can help. I have a sty, a rubble, and a marshal, and I don't know what they mean. You know, they're Paw Patrol. Okay, well, do you have any more Paw Patrol toys in your room that I could be leading you to? Addy, I do. I have a Paw Patrol cruiser somewhere. Find it quickly, then. I bet your next clue's in it. Here it is. I found it, I found it. No clue here. <laughs> Maybe in the back. Ooh, let me push this button. <laughs> the escape button, I found it, Addy. Maya, we made it, we escaped. I've never been so glad to see you. I know, come on, let's go get mom. You may have escaped, but I still won. Parents and kids around the country won't be able to find Pick Me Pop surprises, Hatchimals, or Little Live Pets. So sad. <laughs> wow, that was a good one. But now it's time for our number one most viewed video of all time. What is it? It's Toy Hotel Loses Kids Luggage. Oh, oh yeah. yeah! We got to film this video with our friends Avery, Stella, Sophia, and Charlotte. 
And I remember it was the craziest day filming that video with so many friends over, but we had a lot of fun doing it, didn't we girls? For sure. All right, enjoy our number one video with over 54 million views, Toy Hotel Loses Kids Luggage. Do you have a reservation? Yes, for Sophia, three nights in the fingerling suite. Oh yes, I see it right here. So what brings you in town? I'm a child prodigy baker. And I'm here to win a baking competition. A baker? She'll be a fun guest to have at the toy hotel, Maya. Totally, maybe she'll make some yummy gooey brownies for us. All right, Sophia, I hope you enjoy your complimentary toys and Incredibles to Elastigirl and a fingerlings glitter monkey. Thanks so much. And you can leave your luggage right there. I'll have it brought up in just a few minutes. Unfortunately, our bellhop Jason is out sick today. Um, excuse me girls, can I cut in front of you? I need to get to my room real, real fast. Yeah. Sure. Welcome to the Toy Hotel. Do you have a reservation? Sure do, it's under Stella. Oh, yes, I see it right here. It looks like you've reserved two nights in the Barbie Suite. What brings you in town? I'm here for the science fair. I won state and now I'm competing in the nationals. She must be pretty smart. Yeah, I wonder what cool science experiment she does. Maybe she can make slime. And your complimentary gifts are two enchantables and a pick me pop. Yeah, thanks so much for the toys. No problem. And I'll bring up your bag in just a moment. Hello there. Hi there, my name is Charlotte and I need to check in. Hello Charlotte, yes it looks like I have you down for five nights in the Baby Alive Suite. Oh, that sounds perfect. So what brings you in town today, Charlotte? I'm here for a family reunion. I'm gonna babysit all my baby cousins. There's 12 of them. Did you hear that, my 12 kids to babysit? She must have a lot of patience. Totally, kids can be such a hand. And your complimentary gifts for today are the new googly eyes game, plus a neonate baby. These are the new colorinis. Now the baby life suite is just upstairs, fifth door on the left. Thank you, Charlotte. Hello there, do you have a reservation at the Toy Hotel? Yes, the reservation should be under Avery. It should be 10 nights in the LOL suite. Oh, yes, I see it here. So what brings you in town today, Avery? I'm here for cosmetology school. Ooh. Cosmo what? Cosmetology school. That means nothing to me. Basically, she's not going to be a hairstylist or something like that. Oh, that could be a good person to know. Now all guests in our LOL suite receive a new Shop Kids Shopper Pack, plus of course some Hatchimal collectibles. Wow, thank you so much. Of course. You can head up to your room and I'll get your luggage up to it in just a few minutes. Okay, great, thank you. No problem. terrible case of the flu. Oh, that sounds terrible. It is. You know, would you two mind meeting the registration desk while I go check on him? It should be pretty quiet now. Not a problem. It'll be in good hands. Great. Thank you so much. I'll be back. Hmm, I wonder when they're going to bring my luggage up. Maybe I should call the front desk. What are we supposed to do? I don't know, answer it? I don't know how to, you answer it. Fine. Uh, Toy Hotel, Abby speaking. Hi, this is Stella in the Barbie suite. Would you please bring up my luggage? It's the one with the Shopkins on it. Okay, we'll bring it right up. Stella needs your luggage, wanna deliver it to her? Sure, why not? Um, which one is it? The Shopkins one. Um, which Shopkins one? They're all Shopkins bags. I have no idea. Just grab one. Should I deliver all the other suitcases too? I suppose so. I'll stay at the desk in case anyone else comes. Okay, I'll be back. Oh, my luggage. Thanks so much. I've been dying to get started on my science experiments. No problem, happy to help. 
I do accept tips. Okay, how about this? A rock star. Perfect, I love sunny day. Have a good day. Bye. Oh, my luggage, wonderful. Yep, hopefully it's yours. Oh, I'm sure it is. I have a shopkeeper suitcase. Yeah, you in the whole hotel. And here's a tip for your service. Oh, cool. Love it. Bye. Bye. Who knew delivering suitcases was so fun? I got tips. A rock stall and a finger to me. No way, you'll share them with me, right? Sure, but I hope I'm delivering the suitcases to the right people. Yeah, that would be bad if you're getting them all mixed up. Sure would. I'll be back. Which one's my favorite? It's so hard to choose. Maybe this one because it's glittery. But I like this color. It's my favorite. I wonder if I can keep them all. Hmm. Come in. Hi, Sophia. I have your luggage. Oh, cool. Thanks. This is kind of awkward. Why haven't you left yet? You usually tip the bellhop. Well, in that case, you can have a finger bowl. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. Wow, everybody wants tips nowadays. Hi there, can I help you? I'm just here to deliver your suitcase. Oh, wonderful. I was hoping I would get that soon. Well, here it is. I'll take your tip too, please. Oh yes, um, all I have is this bean boo, is it okay? Yep, I love bean boos. Thank you. Hmm, I wonder what kind of science experiments I could do first. Let's see what I brought with me. Wait a minute, this isn't my stuff. This isn't my suitcase. What happened? Wow, I'm getting the coolest tip for being bellhop. Uh, excuse me, Maya? I think you gave me the wrong bag. Uh-oh, well, let me take that for you. I'll clear this up in no time. Thanks so much, I really appreciate it. Uh-huh. What do we do now, Addy? We have to figure it out before Miss Lucy knows that we delivered the wrong suitcases. Okay, let's just open the suitcase and see what's inside. Maybe we could get clues to figure out if this belongs to. Great idea, Addy. Wow, a smooth thing making Barbie. Oh, and this Barbie's making cupcakes. And what's this? A chef dress up. I have no idea who these belong to, Maya. Wait a minute, I think I know. There's a lot of baking toys in here. And one of the hotel guests is in a baking competition. It's Sophia. Oh, well, I'll give it to her and hope that she has Stella's bag. Yeah. I'm so glad you found my suitcase, Maya. I didn't know what I was gonna do without my baking toys. Well, I'm happy to help. And I think I know the perfect way you could thank me. Anything, what is it? Perhaps you could try out some recipes on me. I make a great taste tester. Well, take me to the hotel's kitchen and you got yourself a deal. Yes, this way. All right, Sophia, I'm ready for my baking lesson. Oh, 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 well, my kitchen is your kitchen. But in order to be a proper chef, you must wear the proper attire. Huh? The chef hats. There we go. And for you, Sophia. Look at it. First, you put the brownie mix in. A little bit of water. And now we stir. Ah, perfecto stirring technique. And now we roll it into a ball. You must roll the balls perfectly. It's an art. Now we put them on the pan. And now we flatten them into cookies. Now let's put it in the oven. Now we have to wait 12 minutes. I must have go prepare a room service order, but I will be back in 20 minutes. 
What could be taking Maya so long? <sighs> the icing would make these cookies delicious. I can't wait to taste these things. Now we add sprinkles. Whoa. Yum. Yum. Now my favorite part. The taste test. Thumbs up for Phil. Thanks for making these with me, Sophia, but I better take the rest to go. I still have to fix the suitcase mix up. No problem, Maya. Bye. Okay, Addie, are you ready to figure out whose suitcase this is? I'm ready to do some detective work. I just hope this is Dust. I know she wants to get working on her science experiment. She's called the front desk like three times. Well, here goes nothing. Uh, I don't think these are Stella's experiments, do you? I'm afraid not. There's a water baby. That looks kind of cool. Some pretend baby food and some diapers. Who would want these? This busy box baby is kind of cute. And here's a diaper bag. Who would want a bunch of baby stuff? I know who loves babies and who's in town to do a lot of babysitting. Charlotte! Well, I better deliver this to Charlotte then. But this is my suitcase. What am I supposed to do with the, all this stuff? Come in! Hi, Charlotte. I'm afraid there's been a suitcase mix up. Yes, I can see that. Is that my suitcase? I believe so. Why don't you open it to be sure, though? This is mine. I need all of these baby dolls to start practicing. I have a big babysitting gig tomorrow. Well, maybe I can help you practice. These look super fun. Yeah, of course you can. This is how you hold a baby. You have to bounce it like this. Can I show me, baby? Can I try? Can I try? Of course. You're doing just great, Maya. Sweet dreams, sweet baby. I see how you're doing it. Can I try? You're doing a great job feeding, Maya. Thanks, I'm learning from a pro. You always want to have lots of diapers in your diaper bag, Maya. And don't forget a bottle. Great idea. This is how you burp, Maya. Mine's not burping. Just gotta be patient. Well, this has been so much fun, Charlotte. But I better get back to work. I need to get that suitcase to its proper owner. Okay, thanks for finding my bag. You're welcome. I'm really, really hoping this is still a suitcase, Maya. Me too, only one way to know. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? That this isn't still a suitcase? Yep, you're thinking what I'm thinking. Oh, we have nerds, lip gloss, and dip and pods, and nail polish. Minnie's colorful hair accessories. And look, it's a Sunny Day doll. Fresh and style Sunny. And look, a schnooks. It's fun to style their hair. Well, we have one hotel I guess that loves to do hair. Hey, Avery, I'll get this delivered. <laughs> Perfect. Beautiful hair. Oh, come in. Hi, Avery. There's been a little luggage mixed up. I think I gave you the wrong suitcase. Oh, well, I haven't even opened my other suitcase yet. Oh, well, I think this is actually your suitcase. Well, let's see. It sure is. Thanks for giving it to me, Maya. It would have been disastrous if I started cosmetology school without my supplies. Well, I'm always happy to help. Hey, as a token of my appreciation, perhaps we could have a little fun of hairstyling on our own? Yeah, sounds great. Wow, this is gonna look great. Oh, I love the two clip look. And the brushing's making my hair so beautiful. I know how to work a brush, girl. Wow, I kind of feel like a 
birthday present with this big bow in my hair. I like it. Is this for Avery? Yep. Perfect. Wow, pink nails on one hand and orange nails on the other? I'll be starting a new trend for sure. Wow, I'm gonna be the most stylish housekeeper at the whole toy hotel. Thanks, girls, for the makeover. No problem. Want me to style you next, Maya? Yes, so badly. But I probably need to go get the luggage sorted out. Bye, Maya. Thanks again, Avery. I really appreciate the new look. <laughs> Bye. Well, it took a lot of work, but I think I finally found your suitcase. Great, let's open it up and see. Wanna check out some of my cool science toys? Absolutely! I have Mad Matter and a bath fizz experiment. And this is the ultimate brick maker. What is this? It's a biometric hand scanner. Huh? A high-tech security system. Huh, again? Basically, it's a cool security system. So nobody can get in your room. Whoa! An alarm goes off if anyone tries to enter. Want me to set one up for you? Absolutely. Why is she taking so long? She's been gone forever. Maya, where are you? All right, Maya, it's all set up for you. Perfect, I'm gonna give it a try. Time to arm it. Now no one can go in your room without you knowing it. The blinking light tells you it's armed. Let's pretend I'm an intruder and we'll test it out. <coughs> ah! It does work! I told you it would! Turn it off! Done, Maya. Thanks for helping me set this up, Stella. No problem. Want to see some other fun experiments? I love to, but I had got to get back to the front desk. Thanks anyways. Bye. Well, we did it, Addy. We sure did. All the suitcases have been sorted out. And they had a ton of fun. Really? I just sat here all day long. Boring. Oh, Addy, Maya, thank you so much for all of your help today. Bellhop Jason is doing so much better, and you should be back again tomorrow. Bummer. Thank goodness. I imagine everything went smoothly while I was away. Absolutely. Oh, wonderful. Maybe I'll leave you two in charge more often then. Well, it was a lot of fun to watch our top three most viewed videos of all time. Did you girls enjoy that? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And if you're not a subscriber already, be sure to press that subscribe button so you don't miss out on our next 50 million view video. Yeah, you won't want to miss it. XOXO. Bye.